A new initiative is on a mission to make El Segundo more green and environmentally friendly. Part of that mission is this event that is both fun and educational. Amy Liu has the story. What if you had a pear and you had it in your lunch and you ate it all, what would you do with the scraps? Where, where do you throw it? Okay. Yeah, great job! Educational games, solar displays, and workshops on alternative energy are just a few festivities of the sustainable El Segundo event, Family Energy Day. It's part of El Segundo city plan to um, reduce the use of energy and to bring more sustainable energy to El Segundo. The free event at Plaza El Segundo attracted around 350 people from the community. Eight different environmental organizations educated the public about sustainability and conserving energy. The day also catered to kids. We've got a great lineup of different activities, a lot of family-friendly activities, activities for the children, games to play in. We've even got little solar race cars that they can race that are completely powered by the sun. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. I'm sitting in a brand new electric vehicle, otherwise called EV. This is one of the main features of today's event. Hi, I'm with Jill. Can you tell us a little bit about electric vehicles and also give us a tour of the car? Sure. Um, electric vehicles are great um, for a number of reasons. One, they're um, sustainable and good for the environment. EVs are great too because their maintenance is extremely low. You don't have transmissions, you don't have oil changes. So when you talk about the cost of owning it, it's substantially lower than a traditional gas car. Can you show us what the different parts are and how it's different from regular cars? Yep. What you have here is a smaller battery that runs the amenities in your car. And then here is what we call an inverter. It looks similar to an engine, but it's not. It's an in a battery inverter. So it's creating the power that's charged through your chargers and storing it into the battery. And when you turn on your motor, it also converts it back so you're able to drive your car. The back has great storage space. Um, as you can see, this is actually a personal vehicle. So there's all sorts of space here. Um, and the entire setup we have here today can all fit inside this car. Um, and then on the top, you have a small solar panel that actually is like what we call a trickle charge to that smaller battery at the front that runs all of your amenities. Actually, the thing that I think we enjoyed the most was learning about the uh, charging station for the electric cars and how they're expanding in Southern California and uh, made me consider maybe uh, next car might be electric. Recycling is just one out of the many ways to create a more green and sustainable world. I think it's just a matter of taking the time to look at the packaging, making sure it's basically clean and empty. Every city has their own um, guidelines for recycling, so maybe making an effort to go on city websites, finding out who the waste hauler is, and then figuring out what they do accept. We always try to, you know, we look around the house and try to reduce waste, so every week we're always trying to increase the recycling bin and lessen the trash bin. Sustainable El Segundo is a public-private partnership that started about two years ago. NRG Energy has teamed up with El Segundo to promote sustainability. Having this event here, bringing the awareness to the, to the community and to other public officials as well, and being an example and um, setting a tone for the entire region, I think that El Segundo is, is on the forefront and, and I'm proud to be a part of it. NRG Energy provides other green workshops and events for the public. They have also donated books and DVDs to the El Segundo Public Library that are available for checkout. Reporting for El Segundo TV, I'm Amy Liu.